Your site has no URLs with a good page experience. In Google Search Console, the latest feature called Page Experience may show you a message as such, saying your site has no URLs with good page experience. In this video session, I'm going to detail what this page experience is all about so that you can be informed as to optimizing your website for Google rankings, okay? So Search Console, as I've been saying through Rankia videos, especially the Search Console playlist that I maintain, Google wants website owners to start focusing on mobile usability. That means when someone visits a landing page, the experience that they will have will affect Google rankings. Now, this Search Console feature right now may still be at a stage whereby Google is still guiding us. But mark my words, if you neglect fixing these um, you know, issues with Search Console, whether it's Core Web Vitals, mobile usability issues, and so on, then I can assure you that your Google rankings will keep dropping. And if your competitors are having a better website, then they will be getting your website traffic, okay? So, page experience comes from various different sources. As we can see, the signals that Google is using is coming from HTTPS, mobile usability, core web vitals, security issues, and so on. If you're managing a website with Google AdSense and so on, then you may have ads on your website. So therefore, the ad experience will also affect page experience on mobile. HTTPS, in this example, it's checked green, right? So I'm more than certain that yours is as such as well. And you may be thinking, well, as far as my website is concerned, everything is green. So why then do we still have your site has no URLs with good page experience? And that is most certainly you need to triple check two important features that Google is looking for. One is mobile usability. That means you need to make sure that there are no errors for mobile usability and remember if you do end up having problems rank your YouTube channel has all the tutorials for you to learn from and actually fix these then the page experience also considers core web vitals and here particularly mobile so if you end up seeing no problems with your website but if you end up seeing URLs that need improvements, then that's where you need to focus. So in this example, we're looking at rank your website. I've actually updated it just an hour ago because of the changes that Google is making as well. So at this moment, Core Web Vitals will drastically affect the page experience. Make sense? So if your website has no security issues, it's already using HTTPS, then that's all set, right? And mobile usability, when you check the reports here, there are no errors. Well, then what's next? Then the Core Web Vital reports will be your um, guiding space, so to speak. So that means, although your Search Console report may show there is no poor URLs, as in nothing in red color, but if you end up seeing URLs need improvement, then you need to improve that. Now, I know what Google is asking is rather cumbersome for most content management systems, especially for e-commerce sites, because ideally Google is saying, you know what, we want pages to load in 2.5 seconds in less than three seconds because that's the data that google has 
because as far as Google's, Google is concerned, fast loading pages improves user experience. But that's not all. Now, if your website is loading fast, then that's great, right? You can always improve it. The, the number that you should focus on is less than three seconds. Ideally, if you don't want to see any problems, if you want to see, you know, URLs with good page experience, then it's 2.5 seconds. Now, there is various methods for you to improve page load times of a website. Make sense? And once again, Rank Your YouTube channel does have the tutorials for you, whether it's to fix LCP issues, longer than four seconds and all that stuff, right? So, page experience, like in this example, you're in luck because I can show you the Rank Your website. <laughs> right now, there is no good URLs right now, but in about a week, as soon as Google updates the site, I'll actually show you a, a trick to consider. You press on settings in Google Search Console, and when you update your website, you may think, you know what? I want to let Google quickly re-evaluate my website, because that's what I want Google to do in this example. I do not have a WooCommerce site anymore, so therefore I can actually remove that sitemap. Let me remove it and go back there and say, okay, you know what? This page sitemap, I want to resubmit to Google. Okay, let's submit that. But obviously it wants the full URL. So then let's just do that. I'll actually delete this one as well. Let me remove that to show you that when you're using Search Console, it's okay for you to delete the sitemaps when there is major changes on your website, as I have right now. Basically, I've deleted the sitemap because I want Search Console, as in I want Google to understand my website is ready for mobile user experience. I know it's a blog, I know it's very plain website as we're seeing here, but it is loading as fast as, as it can be, right? Google, da, da, da. okay, I've got that Google. Let's go and submit the post sitemaps as well. And remember with Google Search Console, if you want to avoid many of the errors that you see, then make sure you only submit the sitemaps that you want Google to rank your website for. For WordPress sites, it's usually the blog posts and the page sitemap. Okay, so whatever the pages that you have. If you're running WooCommerce, then it's product sitemap you need to have, okay? And you don't need to submit the main parent sitemap because if you do, then you'll end up seeing many, many, many problems here. And that's not the smart way to use WordPress sites, okay? So let's go back to this page experience on mobile. What you can do is when you visit your website, you can run certain tests using your keyboard. You can press on F12 to bring out web developer toolbar. You can press on Lighthouse tab. You can select a category called performance and generate reports here. So there is various different ways you can analyze the page load times. But as I've said to you, it's not just about page load times per se. Because here, mobile usability is important as well. Make sense? That's why you want to make sure that there is no errors in Search Console with your website. And everything that it shows you as to it can be improved, then you need to start focusing on improvements here. Okay, so if there is any URLs with improvements, you need to now start focusing on that. As I've said, 2.5 seconds is what Google is basically telling us to aim for. You can even consider looking at better hosting packages and so on, okay? So with the web developer toolbar, you can bring out Lighthouse 
and run performance ta tests and then look at other opportunities whereby you can improve the page load times. Furthermore, using Web Developer Toolbar, there is an icon here. As we can see, we can toggle between different um, viewports, whether it's on a laptop device, whether it's on an iPhone X, whether it's on an iPad, you can start evaluating how your website performs on mobile devices. Furthermore, using Chrome Developer Toolbar, on the right hand side, okay, no, we need to press on the, the gear icon, bring out settings. Here we have devices. Now, this will depend on where on planet Earth you're located. In Australia, we do have 4G network, but you may be living in UK. You may be living in United States. You may be living in India or other parts of the world. So therefore, you need to sit back and start saying to yourself, okay, which devices are used where I, I am located and the type of internet connection speeds that my website visitors have. And once you determine that, then you can say, okay, you know what? In Australia, um, Samsung is very popular as an example. Then make sure you start saying, okay, let me test my website mobile usability according to Galaxy S3 in this example. So this is the experience someone will have if they visit using Galaxy S3 mobile device, okay? So, Web Developer Toolbar is your friend. You, know, you can, if you're not a technical person, most of these things will be complicated for you. If that's the case, you still need to get a hold of a web developer who can actually improve the mobile user experience on your website, as well as page load times. Because on the Performance tab, you can actually conduct um, tests and record things to say, okay, you know what? How does my website load? This will be to do with Core Web Vitals. Okay, so I can't show you any errors because I've already created many videos related to Core Web Vitals. You need to check that out as well. Okay, so it's all about mobile usability, making sure that there is no text too small to read, clickable elements too close together content wider than screen and so on. But mark my words, it's only in your best interest to start saying, you know what? Do I need to update my web website? If so, how can I improve the, the mobile usability and page load times? And that's what page experience on mobile is all about. So if you end up seeing your site has no URLs with good page user experience, at this moment, you know, don't panic, but rather start saying, okay, how do I plan for the future of Google? Because that's what Google wants. And it's at this stage still, it's guiding us because there are millions of websites out there that is still loading very slow. So Google's not gonna change their algorithms all of a sudden to <laughs> derank those websites because it doesn't work like that. Google is your friend in terms of helping you to improve your website, okay? So focus on this. Make sure that you focus on Core Web Vitals, mobile user experience, it's a mobile usability, because when you end up making improvements, when you end up fixing any errors here, then your URLs will have good page user experience when you revisit your Google Search Console. I thank you very much for learning with Rankia and I'll talk with you in the next video session.